What's up y'all, it's your boy Tobias and welcome back to my channel. Look, today we are making something that seems to be a fan favorite with everyone that I feel like sometimes people overcomplicate and that is a strawberry shortcake. But mine's a little bit different because mine is a honey butter strawberry shortcake. And people always ask me, well what are you doing to make it so different? I promise you, when you see this recipe video today you're gonna realize, oh, okay, clearly I can make this as well. So let's stop wasting time. Let's get in the kitchen so that y'all can make this honey butter strawberry shortcake. Let's go. Whipping up all of your favorite recipes. Simply food. You should know by now that you're in for a treat. Simply food. There's no other channel where you'd rather be. Simply food. Seafood pasta cakes and pies. Sing your laugh and even cry. Like, like and share and hit subscribe. Simply food by TY. So honestly, I know your mouth is already watering because honestly, mine is too. And let me tell you something. If you think that you're about to watch me sit here and make this all from scratch, <laughs> it's not fitting to happen. And that is the reason why any and everybody can make this strawberry shortcake because it is made from a box. Now, what I like to use is the Duncan Hines Butter Golden. That's my favorite one to use. You're also going to need some French vanilla pudding. Make sure that it is, you know, the ready to go. You're going to need some strawberry pie filling. Um, that's the Duncan Hines. That's what they had. Use whatever type of whipped topping you would like. I use the store brand and I bought two of those. You're also going to need one pound of fresh strawberries, seven tablespoons of unsalted butter. And of course, because we're making this a honey butter strawberry shortcake, you're going to need some some honey. So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and start prepping our strawberries. Now, the reason why I like to add fresh strawberries to the pie filling is simply just because if you're going to have a strawberry shortcake, you want to make sure that you're having fresh strawberries somewhere in the dish. And because that pie filling already has a lot of sugar and it already has some strawberries in it, this is the best way to kind of amp up that strawberry pie filling by literally just putting in a bunch of fresh strawberries. And typically the one pound of strawberries always kind of tends to be enough. And as you can see, I'm cutting them down just into little small slices. It doesn't have to be uniform or anything like that. You know, the smaller you cut them, the more strawberries you're gonna have. After I do this, I'm gonna make sure that I rinse them down really well, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on them, thoroughly rinse them off, and you wanna make sure that they properly drain. You don't want any of that excess water going into the pie filling in a few moments. So go ahead and take care of that and you'll sit that to the side. Now we're gonna go ahead in a separate bowl. We're gonna put in all of that pie filling. And like I said, as you can see, this stuff is really, really thick, really concentrated. And to me, eating just that is no bueno. Like even if I was doing this for like a cheesecake, I would still add fresh strawberries to it. That's the only way you can really bring this back to life. And if you add like a little bit of lime juice or lemon juice or something like that. Um, but this to me is the quickest way to do this dish and it takes no work at all. As you can see, my strawberries have been properly washed and fully drained because again, you do not want too much of that water going in because it's gonna thin out your mix. And as you can see, this is still staying nice and thick. So after I get this fully mixed up, I like to put this in the fridge and let it kind of gel together for at least, I would say, a good hour, if not two. Now, in retrospect, you don't really have to to do that if you're gonna let this pie, this, I'm sorry, this cake sit overnight. Like if you're not gonna serve this to the next day, then don't worry about letting these strawberries marinate. You can just mix it and put it right on the top at the end. But if you plan on serving it the same day, I would say let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours so that the fresh strawberries can kind of soak up some of that syrup. Now what I've done here is I've melted down my seven tablespoons of the unsalted butter and I'm adding in roughly two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons of honey. You wanna get that nice and mixed in. If you don't feel like doing this step, you can also get the Land Lakes honey butter spread. I've also used that before and that also works totally fine. But I figure why do that when I can literally just take some honey, butter, mix it together. That's it. Now in our large bowl, we're gonna pour in the contents of the cake mixture as well as the pudding mixture. We're also going to be adding in um, three eggs. You wanna make sure that those eggs are room temperature and they are large eggs.
and, and then after we get our eggs in, then we're going to add in three-fourths cup of water. And then we can go ahead and mix in that honey butter. And like I said, that's really going to give this cake a nice buttery yet full of like burst of honey through and through. I mean, it's it's absolutely fabulous. And the trick for me to making the perfect cake is to not over mix it, people. You don't need a hand mixer. You definitely don't need no stand mixer when you're using box cakes because you're gonna overwork it. As you can see, I'm doing it with a whisk by hand. And my rule of thumb, anytime I'm making a cake from a box cake mix, once I see the white is gone and it is whisking smooth, I immediately stop. You do not want to over mix, mix this or you're gonna end up with a dry, brittle cake and ain't nobody got time for that. You wanna have your oven preheated at 350 degrees or whatever the instructions are on the box for the, you know, the cake that you choose to buy. Um, I'm putting this in an aluminum baking dish here. I guess it's like a nine by 12, something like that. I'm not sure, it's just a standard uh, sheet cake size, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to get this in here. There's no need for you to spray this down or anything because you're not taking the cake out of this pan. Once you put the cake in there, you're going to bake it in there and that's it. So there's no need for you to spray it down or anything like that. Um, once you get it in, you definitely want to make sure you get yourself a spoon so that you can make sure that it's nice and even. When you put this in your oven, make sure that you have it on the middle rack. You don't want it too high up and you definitely don't want it too low to the ground, especially when you're using these aluminum pans because the bottom of your cake will burn and you do not want that. You still want this cake to still be nice and moist and delicious. You don't want to, you know treat it terribly just because it's about to be covered in cool whipping strawberries. You still want that cake to be good. The cake is very important in a good honey butter strawberry shortcake, okay? So like I said, we're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for roughly 20 to 25 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. You're gonna sit it on a wire rack and allow that to fully fully cool, okay, before you start putting any of your Cool Whip topping. If you put it on there while it's too hot, the cake will just start ripping, and on top of that, it will completely melt your Cool Whip. A little trick, before you pull out, I'm sorry, before you apply your two containers of your Cool Whip, sit it on the counter for about 10 minutes or so, so it can start to slightly get soft. It'll make it a lot easier for you to kind of spread it out. If you take it directly from the freezer, you're going to end up ripping up your cake trying to spread that out. So take it out about 10 minutes before so it can get soft. You don't want it melted or nothing like that. Just literally a few minutes before and it will start to spread. Just take your time and evenly spread it out. Once you do that, we're in the home stretch. Now you just add in your strawberry fillings. And honestly, you guys, that's it. There's not much to this. It is just that simple to make a honey butter strawberry shortcake that is off the charts. It's absolutely delicious. If you want, you can garnish the outside ring of this cake with fresh strawberries, leave the green leaf on it. That way it can give another a nice pop of color. And that's it. Look, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen thus far. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified so that you don't miss when I post any of my videos. And definitely give this video a thumbs up. And as always, y'all babies keep on cooking. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.